So begin by settling in and getting comfortable in your chair as you start your preparations for your review of the past 12 months and setting your intentions for the new year. Included with this audio is a two-page downloadable worksheet that you can use to help you keep your focus by writing down some of the things that come up during this exercise. Or if you don't have access to that worksheet, you can just grab your journal or a notebook and that should work. So let's begin by taking a couple of deep breaths. Allow yourself to settle into this present moment. If you're holding on to any tension in your body, you can move your body in ways that allow you to let go of the stress from your day. And it will help you to close your eyes as we begin this process. And just tune into how you feel inside Breathe deeply, allowing yourself to attend to you in this moment. And while you still have your eyes closed, imagine that that highest, wisest aspect of you is standing right in front of you. And your wise self greets you with open arms and asks you to come on a journey. So as you take the hands of your wise self. That aspect of you will first lead you back through the last 12 months. And take another deep breath as you allow yourself to be shown some of the highlights. Look back through those months and acknowledge any milestones that happened in the past year. They can be formal milestones, like your birthday, the birth of a new child, perhaps a wedding, or any area of your life that shows up as particularly significant. And as you peruse the year that has gone past, remember to check for milestones in all areas of your life. They can be personal milestones, events that happened in your career, in your family, perhaps even in your health and well-being. They can be formal. or they can be informal, like perhaps you reached a health goal or you acquired a new pet in your family. Whatever seems significant right now, just make some notes about those milestones. These are your linear markers that guide you through your year. And when you're ready, turn your attention to considering what you experienced this year. What were the major experiences that your wise self is showing you? The things that are most significant to your growth and well-being.
Were there challenges in the past year? Did you have insights? Did you grow in wisdom? And what peak joy experiences did you have this last year? And write some of those down, the ones that seem to be the highlights or the most significant. And looking back over your milestones and experiences, see if there's a common theme for this past year. And if so, go ahead and write that theme down. You can write that in that box that asks you about your experiences. What was your theme for the year? And take a moment now to just look back at those highlights from your past year and celebrate how far you have come, what you have really gained even if you had a challenging year, you have grown in ways that you wouldn't have otherwise grown. And if you had peak experiences this year, open up and allow the benefit of that joy to permeate you. Every experience and every milestone from the past year has put you right where you are right now, ready to begin from the wisdom of the experiences that you have had to this point. So now let's move ahead and consider the coming year. And as you stand in this moment with your wise self, Look out over the next 12 months and begin to lay your markers for those milestones that you know are coming up. Most definitely you will have a birthday and you may be aware of other things that are happening in this next year that will serve as your guideposts for your journey through your linear experience of the year. So just lay those out, make some notes about what they are and lay them out. And as you lay out these guideposts, these milestones, infuse them with the intention of gaining meaning and enrichment from them. So as you stand here with your wise self, looking out over the prospect of the new year, consider what you're bringing into this year. You've had a journey of 12 months or so to get to this point. And as you move forward, you're bringing perhaps some unfinished business and some skills that you may not have had prior to your experiences this past year. And perhaps even some lessons learned, 
which inform you about how you want to set out on this next leg of your journey. So make some notes about those things that you're bringing into the year. And these things serve as your tools and your fertilizer and all of the things that will enable you to continue to grow and develop. So now that you know what you're bringing, what tools you're bringing, what things that you have to work with as you start out on this leg of your journey, consider the seeds that you're planting in the coming year. What seeds are you planting in this next 12 months? And as you do this, Allow your wise self to guide you here, to show you things that perhaps are outside of your box of how you think your year should be structured. You may have some new ideas emerging or some hunches and inklings about things that may come up that you'll want to continue to grow. And your wise self is showing you what you need to know right now, not the finished, full-grown plant or tree, but just the seeds of the new emerging experiences. And if you have some words come to you or images, go ahead and describe those or draw them out or jot them down. And as you put these little tiny seeds down on paper, begin to consider how you want to nurture these seeds of your new year. Your wise self can give you some clues about what you need to nurture yourself, your body, your well-being, your career, your family, and all of the most important aspects of your life. And as you're being shown how you can go about nurturing the seeds of the new year, see if a theme emerges. And if it does, just write it down. And take a moment to stand with your wise self, looking out over the fields and the paths that are going to lead you through your milestones this year. And take in the wide expanse and the anticipation of what is unfolding and what is growing and the potentials that lie before you. Just breathe them all in and feel yourself becoming more expansive with these potentials and with this anticipation of the new things unfolding and growing. And know that as you stand here at the beginning of something new, you always have this wisest aspect of you to guide you in how you cultivate your experiences in this year. 
So thank your wise self for this guidance and companionship. And remain open in the next few days or weeks to allowing more information to come, more insights to come about what is emerging, about what you're bringing with you that will support this emergence, and also what you need to leave behind so that you can move into this great expansive potential that you've set out for yourself. Come back to this exercise if you feel you want to work with it a little more. And then just let the information that has come to you be integrated into your knowing so that without even thinking about it, you're living and flourishing in these intentions that you've set forth for the year.